guys, this is Maverick Dusty News, and welcome back. Today, we are going to be playing some more Unreal World RPG. So, last episode, we went ahead and set up our small little um, ghetto garden here. So, we've, we've got a few um, plants growing here. Um, I, I believe these are going to be turnips. The coarse roots, I believe th those are turnips, and no, I don't want to pick those. Puffy grasses? Hey, didn't we... Didn't we harvest some wild puffy grasses? Um, uh, milkweed. We have fistfuls of puffy leaves. I don't know. I'm not sure. We might have... I, I, I think I've harvested the same exact puffy leaves as those. Anyways, uh, I just woke up, so sorry if my voice is still a little, uh, perky. But, um, yeah. Um, we, we can go ahead and finish the floors in our house. That would be fine. So, in order to do that, we need some slender tree trunks. I'll just take ten for now. If we need the other eight, we can go ahead and grab them. Actually, we probably need the other eight, but whatever. Um, so, let's start building the floor here. This shouldn't take us too long. And then, after we get the floor done, we're going to go ahead and have to gather up rocks. So, that way we can... Um, build our furnace so we don't burn our house down. Hopefully the fire can't actually spread if it's made properly in the furnace. Um, <laughs> hopefully that's that's the uh, that's the case here. If it isn't, I'll be very disappointed. Okay. Um, you to get up. Okay. Oh, no. Now I'm on the ground. Okay. <laughs> continue building that floor so um yeah just uh aside from unreal world rpg i'm not really going to have a lot of time during the week to post on social media get videos up edit videos stuff like that Ooh, we need some more food okay let's go ahead and grab more food um let's take some Salted pig cuts, we'll take 20 of those. I'll start munching on those. But yeah, um, during the week, I'm not really going to have a lot of time. I'm not even going to be home. So, I'm going to pre-record everything on the weekends. And then upload it and set it on a timer. That's actually what I did with um, on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I didn't have an upload on Thursday. Sorry for that. But, yeah, that's that's what I did for those three days. And that's what I'm going to be doing from now on until August. And I'm not going to be able to post the videos on social media as with other things. So, like, on my Facebook and Twitter, I won't be able to instantly update the videos there. And it doesn't... It lets me put it onto my Twitter, but it doesn't let me put it on Facebook. I have to go on my Facebook and share it that way. So, I'm going to try and do that. Oh, we need we need more boards. Okay. Well, I'm going to try and do that, as I was saying. I'm going to try and get on Facebook and actually share the videos and post like I normally do. But some days I'm not going to be able to do that. So, I, I, I just want to, you know, kind of um, warn you guys about that. But there, there should be a video a day, is what I'm planning on doing. Some video, or some days there might not be a video. There might not be a video like once a week, maybe two days a week. I am very busy once again. I do apologize for that. But yeah, without going into too much detail, that's pretty much just it. Um, so yeah, there we go. There, there's our boards. We'll go ahead and go sleep. Oh, we're hungry. Okay. Wait, that then go to sleep. Alrighty. Anyway, speaking of other things, I had a very weird dream today, so I'll go ahead and tell you about it. Um, man, this usually doesn't happen. Anyways, um, what happened was, I, I don't remember a lot of it, but um, I, I think I was, I think someone went in my house or stole my brother's keys and unlocked the door, went in my house and locked themselves in there, and they had... Um, they had locked themselves up, and of course, in my house is my computer, so I wanted to get into my house and kill those motherfuckers, because they got my computer. So, um, we were standing outside the door, and then this guy came out, and he had, like, an AK-47. So, 
Okay, jeez, this is gonna be really hard to explain. Uh, basically, I got on his side, and I grabbed on the rifle, and made it sure it wasn't going to shoot me. So, basically, my rifle, or my chest was pushed up against the barrel of the rifle, so it could not shoot me. And the rifle aimed at his mother and what appeared to be his grandmother, um, and it sh he shot both of them. Shot both of them I'm dead, actually. And... Then I punched him in the face, took his gun, and started bashing him in the face with the with the butt of the the rifle. And I don't know why. It was just it felt so smooth. It felt like I was in like like Ultimate Street Fighter or like I was in GTA. Anyways, I'm, <laughs> I'm a horrible storyteller, aren't I? Yeah, that's that though. So yeah, also um the thing about dreaming is if you don't dream. One of the ways that you can sort of help your body to dream. If any of you, um, basically, you don't use an alarm clock and you say that you're going to wake up at a certain time. So before you go to bed, you basically set a plan and you basically set a plan to wake up at, like, say, six or seven. Um, it's pretty much like that. You basically just set a plan to remember your dreams and most of the times you will oh we need more boards too jeez I'm... oh those were the 34 branches i thought we had 34 boards all righty well go ahead and drop the branches there oh that's not even our wood pile is it that's our wood pile <laughs> okay let's move those branches then actually oops didn't mean to do that drop the branches so yeah um uh, basically if you before you go to bed if you're just like i want to remember my dreams then there's a pretty good chance that you will. It's kind of, yeah, it's, it's sort of, it's pretty much the exact same thing as getting yourself accustomed to waking up at a certain time. It's pretty much the same exact stuff. Alright. Yeah, anyways, enough of that. Um, that's enough slender tree trunks for us. So we'll go ahead and put this one in the stockpile. And we need another tree trunk, so we'll just go ahead and take this one right here. And move it inside the house. And let's split it up into boards. Man, this takes a long time to make boards. I forgot how long it took. It takes a few hours. Four, four and a half, five hours, jeez, I'm... yeah, that's quite a long time to make some boards. All right, let's continue making up our floor. And also, um, another thing, it's not really sleeping, I would say, um, it's called, oh, what's it called? Um, astral projection, that's right. Um, Chris told me about it and I got into it a little bit. I've never actually been able to successfully do astral projection, but there's a bunch of people who actually can. And I guess it's sort of one of those things where you'll really never know it's true until you actually experience it. But yeah, if you've never heard of astral projection, go ahead and look it up. It's very cool. I like it. Even though I'll probably never be able to do it. <laughs> um, but yeah. Alright, so there we go. There's our floor. All the way done. Let's go ahead and move all this stuff outside into the wood pile then. Alrighty. So, yeah, voila! Um, we can close and open the door as we please. Squeak, squeak, squeak! Oh, squeak, squeak. Anyways, uh, yeah, our house is done. That took a while. It was a lot quicker than I expected, though. Um, so, yeah, I think... Actually, let me get one of those boards. How many boards do we need to make a bed? Sleeping bunk. Six boards. Okay, so let's go ahead and get six boards. Let's see here. Take six of those bad boys. And we'll go ahead and set up a bunk. And voila, there's our uh, there's our bed. Um, 
We also need a table. The bench... I, I don't really know what purpose the bench has, if it has any at all. Um, it might just be another sleeping place. Or it really might just not have anything. Like, it might not have a function at all. It might just be there to be there sort of thing. Um, yeah, I don't think it really, really does anything. So I'm not going to make one. If it does do anything and you can actually use it for something, then let me know. But I don't think you can. I think it's more of just a... It's there to be there, have a nice, you know, decoration sort of thing. Anyways, table. We need ten boards for that. Oh, jeez, I might have to make more. Is this game going to make me more? Or going to have to make me make more? Uh, five boards. We have five boards. Okay, well, we got to make more. God damn it. Let's just, let's just use this one and carve it into boards. Okay, so we are done with those boards. So, let's go ahead and eat. And, of course, we'll wait until we're not fatigued and then grab ten boards. It doesn't really matter the quality, actually. Once again, the quality only really affects the time, I believe. Um, ten boards. I have ten boards. Did I not? Oh, I guess it didn't let me pick them up. Alright, I guess I gotta move them in, then. I gotta push, push them in the house. Because apparently I'm not strong enough to carry 10 of them okay let's try that again there we go so yeah let me let me know about your guys's weird dreams what's your weirdest dream let me know in the comments guys i love to hear stuff like that from you it's amazing i'd love to see any comments really and if you have any questions of course write out a comment and visit me on social media facebook and twitter yeah, all that good stuff. Um, <laughs> I probably should have built the table over here. Uh, that looks weird. Um, that looks very weird. Okay, let's um, let's deconstruct that and build it one over. This is this is for the better, people. Don't get mad at me. This is for the better. It looks weird right next to the bunk. Okay. So there's our bed, there's our table. It looks a little bit better. I like it, I like it better like that. Um, and then we'll have our furnace right down here. And then we can just stick food or whatever we're gonna be working on in that corner, I suppose. All right, so what do we need for a furnace? Or a fireplace, 35 stones. Um, can't we actually take one of these stones Where is it? Makeshift. Um, do, 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 break stone into rock ten pieces. Oh, we need another stone. Alrighty, so I, I believe the stones that you actually make from this duel as like rocks and stones. So they count as stones, but they also count as rocks. It's, v it's very weird, but I, I think this is going to actually work. So let me go ahead and find a stone here. Is that, is that, oh, that's one over there. Okay, let's go ahead and take that and do it up. Alrighty, 10 decent rocks. Now, let me just go ahead and drop one of those. Oh, no. No, maybe they don't duel. Maybe they don't duel as... Okay. Yeah, okay, never mind. I don't think they duel. I don't think they duel now. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> never mind that. I just made myself look like an idiot. Uh, y you guys never saw that. C can we get a cut? Can we get a cut there, please? <laughs> um, okay. Let's just drop those and act like that never happened. Um, yeah. And we'll drop that stone there because that's my, that's my breaking stone. Alright, well, I guess we could take our raft. And look for a mountain. Oh, mountain's up here. And, oh yes, lots of stones. So yeah, usually if you look for a mountain area, like this one, on the map, there's always tons and tons of stones that you can go ahead and pick up. So it's better really just to visit one of these mountains or hills and get stones that way, 
instead of actually uh, looking around the forest and whatnot for the stones. So we need 35. I I'm thinking of getting all 35 right here, right now. Dropping them on the raft, getting more, and repeating till we get 35. And then I suppose after this, we'll possibly gather some more firewood. Maybe make some more knives. If we do make knives, though, we'll also go trading. But maybe maybe we'll do both, actually. Okay, so there's 18 stones. Uh, what are these? Bear pipe patches? Bear pipes? I think we could also use these as spices... And, um, we can also make tea out of it. I think any kind of leaf, it's just, it counts as a spice, but it also counts as, um, you know, something you can use in a tea. So I think, I think all of the sort of things that classify them as, as uh, as leaves, I think they all count towards the same thing. If that makes any sense. Hopefully I'm not saying that, like, weirdly <laughs> and completely off. Okay. Stone. Let's get some more stones. Let's stop trying to harvest the wild vegetables. And get the stones. How many of those did we get? Oh, we got eight bunches. And what was the other thing? Oh, we got a little bit of milkweed. Okay. We can add that to our collection of milkweed. Also, if anyone knows the lifespan of vegetables and fruits within a cellar please let me know um i think it lasts longer than dried meat actually please correct me if i'm wrong but i believe um fruits and vegetables when kept in a cellar will last long longer than dried meat i think that's how it works okay so seven we need three we need eight more eight more stones but yeah if if they don't last longer than dried they're probably just under it i'm gonna guess hopefully i'm right though and they do actually last longer than dried because i've had dried food go bad and yet um, my vegetables within my cellar have been good stone crop leaves will take some even though they're not ripe for harvest yet so we get a crap ton last i'll, I'll still take some I don't care. <laughs> Climb down. Ah! Oh, you fell. Congratulations. <laughs> it was a very scary fall. Alright, we can drop one of those stones because we don't need it. Okay, so we've got all 35 stones on board. We'll go ahead and launch our raft and get back to our shelter. And I'll move all these stones inside and we can get working on our fireplace. Okay, and go ahead and build a fireplace. Oh yeah, this is going to take quite a while. So it takes it takes us longer to make, it takes us longer to cut up a tree board. Oh no, it takes the same amount of time as it does for us to take down a, or for us to turn a fallen tree trunk into boards as it does for us to make a fireplace. Interesting. I wonder how we held all those rocks together. Did we just conveniently place them on top of each other in a form that matches that possibly all right well anyways um i think i'm gonna actually put any sort of uh firewood so to speak oh geez that takes a long time to push okay let's pick that up okay i can't pick it up too heavy come on man Oh, too much. Or maybe it's... No, it's... I think it's too much. Okay. Actually, let's go ahead and drop off our leaves as well. No, I don't want to discard any of those. Good. Okay, we'll drop all of our leaves in there. In our cellar. And then drop off the branches inside. And I think we'll go ahead and take a nap. And keep sleeping. Alrighty. Ooh. 
a little eggs in our hut. Get the rest of the firewoods. More of our um, plants seem to be sprouting down there, which is good. Very, very good. So let's grab the rest of those branches. Move them inside. Bada boom. Um, I'm going to leave the boards out here because I might actually need um, to use the boards later on in the game. So I'm not going to use them as firewood. I'm going to also leave the stakes out here. So I guess I'll just move my slender tree trunks. Which is usually what I make most of my fires out of. Slender tree trunks is usually the main thing to make fires out of for me. Because they last a good two or three hours. And they take, what, 15-20 minutes to chop down a slender tree. So they're pretty easy to harvest as well. Um, I would like to go ahead and get on my raft. Head out. And chop up some slender tree trunks for the sake of firewood. So that way we're not stuck in the winter where half of the lake is frozen over. We have very little mobility via our raft. Want to get all of our firewood now so that, we're, so that way we're set for winter. Which is a very good plan. Also, um... I'd like to know if any of the, the people on this channel would like to see a Minecraft series. I've been thinking about doing a Minecraft series, and I don't think it would be bad. Um, I just want to see if you guys would like something like that. Because obviously, I don't want to make a Minecraft series. Yes, I would very much enjoy a Minecraft series, but I, I, I'm not going to make it if nobody's going to watch it. Um, which is what happened with Valiant Hearts, is I recorded the whole season and no one seems to be watching Valiant Hearts. Which is unfortunate because I recorded like 20 episodes and they're going to have to get uploaded now because I uploaded the first one. So you can't just sort of stop in the middle and not do it anymore. But yeah, I was a little bit bummed that nobody nobody's watching the Valiant Hearts series because... It is, it is a very, very good game. If you've never seen anyone play Valiant Hearts or if you've never beat it yourself, definitely go ahead and check out the playlist right now if you have never. Like, don't don't just watch a specific Let's Play, so to speak, on my channel. Check out other things. And if you don't like it, that's fine. You don't, you don't have to watch it. But I'm just saying. Um, I like to know what you guys want to see before I upload. So that way, you know, I don't, I don't go and record a bunch of things that you guys aren't going to watch and then you're stuck with those videos for a week or whatnot and also the other thing um with my summer program and me not being around my computer i'm not gonna be able to reply to comments instantly like i've been doing for the past couple of day or past couple of months really um i'm not gonna be able to reply instantly so it may take me a day or two to get to your comment and write a reply so i do apologize if that is the case but I, I, I will have access to Wi-Fi and the internet, so I will be able to reply to comments. It's just, it probably won't be as fast as I am now. Um, on the weekends, though, I'll be able to reply to comments pretty fast. But during the weekdays, not so much. Once again, I do apologize for that. But yeah, just expect a little bit more of a wait than you've had in the past. Also, uh, to go with the Minecraft thing, what, what, like, what mods for Minecraft would you guys prefer I play and or use with? So, like, would you like to see a Tekkit series? Um, would you like to see a Minecraft series with Mo Creatures? Would you like to see a Clay Soldiers Minecraft series? Stuff along those lines. I'll probably actually end up making a vlog next week. Oops, I forgot to grab the branches. Uh, but yeah, I'll probably end up making a vlog or, or whatnot to go ahead and get, get more people in on that. But yeah, just let me know. Just let me know on that. Would you like Minecraft? And if so, what mods would you like to see me play? 
Alright, well anyways, we're gonna use all this firewood. Oops, I keep trying to pick it up instead of move it. So we'll use all these, these slender tree trunks and big tree trunks as firewood. And bada, <coughs> boom, <laughs> excuse me. Um, so yeah, I guess that's going to be our firewood for a while. Um, and we can use this house to smoke stuff at any time. So we can smoke food in here anytime we want to, any day of the week, any, any season. Um, I believe we can also dry food in here, but it has to be at a certain time of of the year so i'm not exactly sure which time it is it might be it might be autumn it might be mid to late autumn when we can actually dry food and then also it, oh no it's probably not spring either huh i wonder i wonder if we could even cook dried food Raw meat. Well, I don't have any raw meat to actually test that out. Maybe we should go fishing for a little bit and see if we... See if we can get some fish. And see if it'll let us dry it up. So where did I leave my fishing pole at? Okay, well, let's, get, let's attempt to go ahead and pick up some fish here. Oh, actually... I... Did I have... Oh, anyways. We, we, we got we got food. Um, <laughs> I picked up two fishing rods, though. Um, so there we go. We have our raw fish. So let's go ahead and see if we can't dry it. Raw meat or fish. Oh, did I not pick them up? Oh, I didn't even pick them up. <laughs> oh, man. Sorry for that, guys. Like I said before, I just woke up. Um, okay. Dry. And we'll do the roaches. Dry in cold weather. It doesn't suit the task. It's too warm and humid at the moment. So, late summer, we can't dry stuff. It's basically what's that, what, what that's uh, saying. Um, I'm going to still cook this, though. Because that would be a waste of fish. And I'm not into wasting food in this game. I'm not into wasting food in real life, either. But, um, yeah, let's just go ahead and roast it up, I suppose. Oh, jeez. Hopefully we don't fall asleep on it. Oh, no. We might fall asleep on that pipe. Please, please don't. Okay. There we go. We didn't fall asleep on our food, thankfully. You feel at unity with the world? We actually, do we have... Where is it? Where is it? Ritual? Yes, okay. We have another incantation to learn. We just got to visit a village. Oh, no! Yes, cancel. I want to eat the, the roach and the pike before I eat the salted pig. Alrighty, well, I suppose we can go ahead, pick up those rocks, pick up the stone. And... Okay, let's 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 just start making some stone knives here then. Do we have any anyone's made? Yes, we have four sharp ones made. Okay. So we'll just sit in our house and make some stone knives. Cuz I do I do still want to do some trading. I want to get some more animals. <clears throat> and also like I said before, we can use these as throwing weapons, and I'll probably actually keep a few for the purpose of throwing them. Even though, the way we are situated, we really don't have to go out hunting. But, if we want to, we can, and we'll get extra food, we'll get the hides, which of course we can use for clothing, and also, oh yeah, I'd also like to get up a bunch of hides so that way I can set up a, a tent. One of those, um, what do they call them? A coda! Yes, I would love to set up a coda, because I've never actually set up a coda. They're very cool. I love them. Although I've never been able to actually build one myself. 
So maybe we will go hunting, so that way we can set up a coda. Yeah, that'd be very cool to have a coda made. Even though we, we already have a house, but... Hey, we can have a coda and a house. Who cares, right? I don't know. I think that'd be cool. Maybe I'll try and work on getting enough hides to actually be able to do that. And also, um, I gotta move my club inside of my house. So, is this... I thought I had a fine club. Or am I already carrying it? Yes, I am already carrying it. So, I'll drop my fine club up here. On the table. Because that's going to be our beating surface. And also, let me go ahead and get a bowl of water. Wooden bowl of water. Let's go ahead and... Oh, boy. How do we fill it up? I don't know how to fill it up. No? No? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, how do we do it? Get on our feet. H. Oh, yes, of course. Okay. Fill it. There we go. There we go. Okay, so let's take this wooden bowl of water, put it on the table, and that'll be our water because I believe... At the end, you also need some water. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I'm not sure. But yeah, there's that. Alright, let's drop the extra bowl. Eat our pike. And do 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 do. We've made 11 sharp rock knives and one rough one. Not too bad, not too bad. Let's go ahead and sit in our mini shelter and make some more. I think I'll spend the rest of the day. Bleh, can't talk. I think I'll spend the rest of the day making stone knives here. Eat some salted pig. Make more knives. How many knives do we got now? 16? Okay, so I think we're good. Or we actually have 18. So let's go ahead and drop stone and the rock. And now we have 18 trading items. Fantastic. So what I would like to do is go ahead and grab a little bit of food. Let's see here. We've got some more salted pig cuts, which I will take. Um, And then let's get on our boat. And let's just paddle around. I want to paddle around... The Islander area, which is to our southwest currently. So let's go ahead and paddle down here. And I want to search for some Islander settlements. Number one, for trading purposes, but also just to find an Islander village. Oh, this village is, or this island rather, is pretty huge. Dang. I should have set up my base on something like this. Would have been cooler. A big, huge island like that. The only one that I have, though, is, is pretty decent sized, so I'm, I'm happy with it. But yeah, there should be Islander settlements somewhere out here. Alright, well, it's getting late, so we'll take a nap. And... Let's see. Oh, we're almost in the Islander territory. Gotta find us a village now. What in the heck? What in the heck is that? Is it just... Oh, it's just a hill? It looked very weird. Holy cow. Ah! I lose my grip. Whatever, whatever. And the phone's ringing. Fantastic. I'm not gonna get it. Okay. We don't have to harvest all of them. 16 pitches. That's fine with me. Let's continue on our journey. Ooh, we found a settlement. This one doesn't look too big. Yeah, the, uh... The Islanders might not actually have 
as big of cities that I thought they had. Because I thought they had decent sized cities. Stop, I need to tell you something. You're you're stealing all of our, our bushes. That's illegal. <laughs> Alrighty, rope. Oh, jeez. They just have a kid locked in a room with a leather rope. Somehow that tells me something not good was going on in there. Smoked salmons, 10 dried burbots. Um, I'll take the burbots. And let's talk to the sage. Let's greet him and ask him to teach me my incantation. And let's also see if they have animals. No, they don't have any animals. Okay, that kind of makes sense. They are islanders. Um, I'm not going to just purchase these fish on their own. I'm going to go ahead and search around for some more food. Is that it? Was that it? Oh, no, there, there are more houses. Okay. A smoked pike. Only one, though, so I'm not going to grab that. Anything else? Oh, a house over here. And another sage. A wooden tub of water. I think we actually have to pay. Yeah, we have to pay for the wooden tub of water, which I'm not going to do. Anything over here? No, it doesn't. I think that's it. Wow, so this is a pretty small village. Yeah, maybe the islanders really don't have big villages. Or maybe this is just one of the smaller ones. Okay. So we got, we traded, we traded one knife for the ten bourbons, which is a pretty decent trade. Alright, well let's get on our boat, search for some more settlements. Anything? Do we see anything? Nope. What about over here? Nope. We see a lady in the water, though. Ah, there's another village, and it looks like these guys actually have a farm, so they might not be in too, or they might not be doing too bad for themselves. Can we harvest anything yet? No. Yeah. Okay, we can't. So I'm not gonna steal from them. I'll probably end up actually being banished from one village or another eventually for stealing from farms because I just can't resist it, man. I, there, there's just a bunch of food sitting there. Come on. How, how am I not going to help myself to some? In real life, that wouldn't be the case, of course. I mean, come on. Um, ooh, there's a cave over here, and I have no torch. Okay, this, this village also seems pretty small and useless as far as trade goes. Then they have no animals. Yeah, so... I'll probably actually end up stealing from the Islanders then, because they have farms, but they really have no good trading items. Yeah, they're they're really more like the Owl or Seal tribe. They really are. Just small villages. Not really that much to trade. Okay. Well, I thought, I thought they had a little bit more. I'm a bit disappointed with that. But, I guess they're going to be who I'm stealing from, so to speak. Hopefully the Dracolanan villages don't get word of my, my, my didgeridooing, though, and banish me, too. Because that would not be good. Hopefully it'll just be the Islanders. I, I'm okay with just being banned from the Islanders' villages. Not from the Dracolanan, though. Because they're pretty much the only good trade partners you have in this game. Oh, so there's, these are just the hills. I guess they get a different texture through various times of the year. Okay, that's cool. So I guess they just change colors. Like the floor changes colors. I'm fine with that. There you are, good entrance. We could buy another piglet. Ooh. I'll get both of those, though. And a trident. Eh. I'm not going to buy it. Um, let's get another pig really quickly, though. Buy an animal. Ooh, nope. Buy an animal. Pig. Offer. Two. One. Okay. So we got a pig for... Oh, come here. We got a pig for three knives, which is pretty good. Um, maybe I should even buy another. Maybe I should buy two pigs. 
Yeah, let's let's buy let's buy another piglet. Oh man. That one was a little bit more expensive. Oh no, wait. Maybe maybe it wasn't. I don't know. I think I think it was though. Okay. So there we go. We got our two piglets. Bear fur. 24 pounds, I'll take it, because once again, trying to build that coda. What else? What other goodies are in store for me? Um, a bunch of a bunch of smoke stuff. Um, I'll take the dried cuts. What's here? Copper kai, no. What's this? A bag of salt. I'll take it. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to actually trade for all these goods though. This is quite a lot. Um, two leather ropes, a bag of salt. I'll take the salt. And let's see if we can't trade for all the items we already have. So trade. Offer payment. Eight. What about my northern knife? No. Start the trade again from scratch. Goodbye. Um, let's drop two bags of salt and see if we can't trade. Because the salt is pretty damn expensive. Oh, yes, we can. Okay. Um, then let's pick up one bag of salt and see if we can trade. Huh. What about my shovel? No, he doesn't like it. What about my salted pig cuts? What about my leaves? No, you don't like those? Okay. Alright, I guess it's only going to be one bag of salt then. I I'm fine with that. We have basically another full bag of salt back at the base anyways. So let's try seven. And the rough one? No. Start over. So, there we go. Wow. For all that, we got two pigs, a bunch of food, some fur, some salt, and we get to keep the rough knives. So, I'm not pretty happy with that. That's that's a pretty good trade run. I think we'll head back to the base now. Dang, yeah. We'll head back to the base, put these pigs in the pen, and put our food away. Alright, so here we are back at the base. I'll go ahead and drop off all of my food. And we'll put the pigs in the pen. Um, unleash. Unleash. Climb back over. And voila! We got two ropes from that as well. We could drop our wooden shovel. I really don't need it. Um, our bag of salt. Drop that bad boy. So yeah, it's halfway full. So we, we have a lot of salt. Um, we could actually salt both of those pigs if we were to kill them. So we're gonna unsalt. We got the bear fur, of course. Um, I might actually make a few clothing items out of the bear fur. We don't have a hat. Which is gonna be a problem for the winter. Not a problem right now, but for the winter, yes. Um, and bear fur is actually pretty warm, so it'll be a good material to make the hat out of. We might not even need to make a fire to keep warm and whatnot. Um, if we travel, we'll obviously have to, but... When we're at home, probably not. Um, so fur. We can make a fur cloak as well. That would also keep us warm. Let's keep, let's make a fur cap, though. Okay. And I'm not gonna wear it right now. I'll just, I'll just drop it right here, right by my bed. And more clothing. Um... Let's make a cloak. Because we don't have one of those. Cloaks are one of those things. Aw, oh, man. Cloaks are cloaks are amazing. Uh, you pretty much don't need to wear a shirt or trousers <laughs> if you wear a cloak. Maybe you might actually need to wear trousers. But you don't have to wear a shirt or anything like that. You could just wear the cloak. But you're still going to want a shirt on, mind you. And also, um, it should be pretty durable. So if we get stabbed, it should give us a fair bit of protection. Although I'm not going to be wearing it. I'm only going to be wearing it during the winter, primarily. But yeah, it's, it, I, I believe it offers a decent amount of protection. But yeah, 
I think I'll go ahead and end the episode here. It's been quite a long one, almost 40 minutes, actually a little bit more than 40 minutes. And if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, please comment, and please, please, please subscribe. It really helps out and it really does mean a lot. Once again, sorry for the, the scroungy voice at the beginning of the video and the jumbled talking also at the beginning of the video. I did just wake up uh, before recording this. So, once again, I do apologize for that. So, once again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Hey,